trailer. There's a working vehicle right there. Do we want to escape? No, what do you want there to not be a movie? What? <sighs> I have to believe those corporate dudes from Cabin in the Woods are spraying gas in everyone's faces to make them do dumb shit. The Strangers, oh, I forgot what it's called. The Strangers 2. So The Strangers 2 is a sequel to The Strangers, which I remarkably enjoy. In fact, watching this movie makes me question whether or not the first Strangers movie was any good at all. But 10 years ago, when I saw the movie once, I actually really enjoyed it. Could be crap now, who knows? So in this Strangers movie, this family is dropping their daughter off at boarding school, which kind of looks like Camp Crystal Lake. Perfect. And then the creeps from The Strangers show up and start killing people. That's the facet, like that, that's me cutting down the setup because the setup in this movie is boring shit. The pacing, dude, what the hell? I get set up for a good horror movie you're supposed to set up the tension this movie just didn't have any tension there was one scene where i was like this movie would benefit from i don't know a sneaking scene or you know like a sneaking mission like metal gear solid style Ooh, the creeps over there let's not make any noise let's sneak out the window and try to sneak past them instead they're like let's go let's go out the window let's project it to the psychopath so they know that we're going out the window instead of sneaking out quietly like smart people and the movie just loses me all right the brother in this movie i don't want to talk shit and i don't know how old he is but it's like this dude is the joke that 21 Jump Street jokes about. He looks like a 30 year old man. They're all like, well, when he goes to college next year, are you implying that he is 17 years old? He might be 17 years old. I'm just saying the dude doesn't look it. When you're casting for a 17 year old, you should probably have a 17 year old who looks 17. He could be 45, long as he looks 17. This dude did not. This movie makes so many horror movie transgressions. It kind of reminded me of Texas Chainsaw, that 3D movie that came out a few years ago. It's actually a lot like that, where they're like, yeah, we're gonna take it back. Nah, you should, probably should have pushed it forward. This movie tries to cash in on the whole 80s nostalgia craze going on right now. There is an 80s nostalgia craze if you have not noticed. And I have my thoughts about the 80s nostalgia craze, keeping it vague because I can make a 20 minute video on it. Basically, people go to movies as an escapism for escape, to escape the things that they hate seeing in the world because generally speaking, the world just seems to suck. But movies are no longer the escape they used to be. Enter 80s nostalgia. It's that illusion you can feed your brain to make yourself go, oh yeah, I am back in childhood now. But this movie's like, we'll have an 80s title come on Anytime the psychopath kills people to the 80s music, why? Don't know. We'll even have cheesy 80s horror movie zoom, 80s fades, nailing it. But it's like they don't know why 80s nostalgia is a thing right now. They're just like, uh, what's a thing right now, 80s? That'll be the hook. It just comes across as out of touch, if not desperate, because this movie does not take place in the 80s. Judging by the smartphones everyone was rocking, it very much takes place in the 21st century. There are ways to do the nostalgia thing and make it stylistic. This one flew a little too close to the sun, burned its wings. Just simply put, this movie should have at least been some form of intense, was not that. I wasn't ever tense, there was nothing intense about it. So if you just strip it down to the basics, were the deaths interesting? No. They were pretty basic, they just kind of died. This kind of seems like it could have been a fan film or a tribute. Someone was like, I love The Strangers. I'm gonna make my own Strangers movie. And it comes out online. I'm like, ah, well, you know, you tried. I get it. But when it's a theatrically released film and people have to pay full ticket price, you are open to more scrutiny. I'm just saying. God, I really hated this movie. Get yeah, what they were trying to do. They were trying to like, ooh, John Carpenter, right? No, it's like a shitty John Carpenter cover band. The Strangers, whatever the hell the subtitle is, eh, it's fucking dog shit. Yeah, I guess in the thumbnails of my videos, a lot of people are like, oh, I can tell what he thinks about the movie from the thumbnail. So did you guess it? Hope so. All right, so The Strangers 2, have you seen it? Doubt it, but what'd you think about it? Hypothetically, if you've seen it, what you haven't? Whatever you think, comment below, let me know, or what's a shitty horror movie that you remember? You're like, eh, nope, should have come online for free. Suicide Squad! Whatever you think, comment below, let me know, and as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.